Right. So we will move to the next questions. The case. 2015 only. Okay. Okay. So here is question number five. The aqueous solution of following salt will have the lowest pH in the kettle. Okay. So the aqueous solution of the following salt will have lowest pH. So here is the salt salt given. First one. NaClO. Second one, MaCl4. Third one, MaCl4. Fourth one, MaCl4. Okay. So, the aqueous solution of the kettle. Aqueous solution of the kettle, so these are not reacting with water. So, I don't the reactions of these salts with reaction with water. So, here Na. Cl4 is reacting with water to form NaOH plus so this NaOH here this hydrogen is replaced by HCl4 right so next one NaCl4 is reacting with H2O to form NaOH and also this H is replaced by this one HCl4 so next NaCl4 plus H2O plus H2O NaOH plus HClO3 so next NaClO2 plus H2O plus H2O NaOH plus HClO2 ok na so these are all the reactions it will be formed when the hydrolysis of these salts ok na so as compared to so this one having lowest pH of the kettle, right? So here is the this element having very very lowest pH. This, this is the compound that can have the very very lowest pH of also highly acidic in nature. So whatever this compound, it is the very very lowest pH, lowest in pH. Lowest in pH. And also the among these, this is having the highest in pH. Okay now, so on the other category. So this one is the lowest pH of the other category, or this one is the highest pH of the other category. So what is the answer? Here is the second one is the answer. So this is the compound sodium tetra -anzone, sodium chloride, right? So this compound reacts with water to release the NaOH and also to release the HCl O4. And the answer is okay. Second one is the answer. So this is having the very very lowest pH value, right? And also the next one question. Sixth one. Sixth one. Which of the following compounds of Zanan has pyramidal geometry? So which one of the Zanan compounds have pyramidal geometry? So here it is write down first one HCF2, second one HCF4, third one HCF4, fourth one HCO3. HCO3. Okay, now so you know okay. So HCF2 here this is the linear geometry. Here is the linear geometry. Here is the linear shape. So HCF4. So it is the square plane structure. Square plane in structure, not square pyramidal in structure. Square pyramidal in structure. Right. And also next, this one X E boy of four. So this is having the structure of the square pyramidal, square pyramidal and also this one having the structure of the square pyramidal structure and also XeO3. So this is the compound.
pyramidal structure. This is the compound which having the pyramidal structure. And the answer is coming here. So XeO3 is the answer. So because XeO3 it shows the pyramidal structure. Okay, na. The answer is coming here. XeO3 is the answer. Okay, na. So you get interhalogen compounds are coming out. So the compounds of the zana are also their structures with respect to their hybridization. So those are all very very important. So the halogen are coming out. So all the higher compounds that the zana compounds are also their structures. स्ट्रक्चर सारे की दबे और आल्सो दे हाइब्रिडाइजेशन या वो फॉर्म आ गए सो अब वेलन के इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर अंदर है सो ऑप्शन डी इज ऑप्शंस एक्स ओ3 हैव द पिरामिडल स्ट्रक्चर सो इस दी एक्स ओ3 के अंदर है नेक्स्ट में बेरे आउट ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड बता दूं दोस्तों ना द कंपाउंड्स में सब कंसंट्रेट वाटरी सो स्ट्रक्चर सब आल्सो दे हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो ऑन हीटिंग विद कंसंट्रेटेड एनएच3 सो क्वेश्चन ये इधर बोल रही है और हीटिंग विद कंसंट्रेटेड एनएओएच सॉल्यूशन सो एनएओएच सॉल्यूशन ना हीट मार दे राइट सो हीट मार दे रे इन एनआर्ट एटमॉस्फेयर ऑफ सीओ2 व्हाइट फास्फोरस गिव्स ए गैस एम इक्वल टू नंबर क्या व्हाइट फास्फोरस गिव्स ए गैस राइट सो व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज इनकरेक्ट अबाउट द गैस इन द कैटेगरी सो दे विल गेट द व्हाइट फास्फोरस गैस राइट सो दिस वन वी कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज फास्फीन देने ना तो करें तो ना वो पास पी ना तो ना करें तो ओके ना सही बात है सो दिस वन इज़ फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज़ करेक्ट राइट इन करेक्ट पता करें फर्स्ट वन इट इज़ मोर बेसिक देन अमोनिया नो सो एनी गैसेस व्हिच इज़ लेस बेसिक देन अमोनिया सो हियर इट इज़ द पास पी हियर इट इज़ आल्सो लेस बेसिक देन अमोनिया पास पी इट इज़ वेरी वेरी लेस बेसिक देन अमोनिया तो आंसर आपने क्या फर्स्ट वन इज़ द आंसर क्या करते हैं तो दर्शन स्टेटमेंट इज़ wrong statement so that's why the phosphine it is very very less basic than ammonia the answer is the first one is the answer so rest of the options are not just so yeah the solution the solution in water decomposes in the presence of light right so what is the phosphine solutions are there so that is decomposes in water right in the presence of light so it is less basic than ammonia correct statement the third one is the correct statement for the basicity of the ammonia and also phosphine so next one it is highly poisonous and also smell like rotten fish right so it is very very highly odor highly dirty odor in nature so as like as rotten fish right so the answer is coming here first one is the answer the wrong statement is it is more basic than ammonia yellow so that is the wrong statement right next one next question yes it is 2016 2016 only in a question stated that 2016 sulfur salt contains at the end sulfur salt salt contains so now we go to the sulfur salt and we know zero point zero eight percent and we get to make up sulfur and also it is obtained by when SO2 gas is passed into an H2S to release the sulfur salt in release of the term again sulfur salt release of the this one we can also call it as colloidal sulfur this one we can also call it as colloidal sulfur of the term again the sulfur salt it containing the 0.08% of sulfur and also how it will be prepared and there that when the sp2 gas the h2s gas is passed into h4 is for to to form the sulfur colloid and sulfur salt form okay na in another words when this sulfur it will be heated sulfur salt it will be heated all the hydrated what is the Water content it will be there, so that will be evaporate and also large aggregate particles, large aggregates of sulfur molecules will be remain. Large aggregates of the sulfur molecules will be remain. Okay, na? So now what na? Or this colloidal sulfur it will be heated, preheated to form the large aggregates of the sulfur molecules. Three options for the discrete of sulfur atoms. No, it is not discrete of sulfur atoms. Discrete of S molecules. No, it is also not discrete of S molecules. But it can form the large aggregates of the sulfur molecules. Large aggregates of the N form of the thing. Sulfur molecules are form of the thing. The answer is the third one is the answer. Right. Next one, question. Ninth one. Ninth one. Question.
क्वेश्चन एक इधर आपके the property which is not true about chlorine so ना के chlorine इधर 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 chlorine property सना ना हम क्यों उत्तर बोलेंगे ना बात करें तो कि सभी electron एक-एक nature it forms only one half so acids and also it has been very less in this bond dissociation इधर के इधर आपके के different properties of chlorine बोलते हैं ओके ना so इतना properties में उसको रख लेंगे क्वेश्चन सही करें options मोड़ रहे so it is less electron negative chlorine three ninth क्वेश्चन most reactions are exothermic right so due to the smallest size of chlorine atom so the reactions involved in the chlorine so that is highly exothermic in nature yaka kanta helidre it releases the more amount of energy yen madutte namage more amount of energy release madodrinda so it is highly exothermic in nature so that is the correct statement so next one it forms only one oxide acid right so chlorine it can forms only one oxide acid that is nothing but hypo chlorous acid it can forms only one oxide acid this is nothing but hypochlorous acid in a form of the yavdo fluorine right so now so then it has highest electron negativity right so among the rest of all modern periodic table ke compare padidre so chlorine is the having highest electron negativity so that is also correct answer andre answer is namage last one is the answer again it will be d high chlorine chlorine bond dissociation and the be no so due to the smallest size of chlorine contain large electrons in small value in small value ripple of repulsion of electrons taking place this decreases the chlorine chlorine bond strength decreases the chlorine chlorine bond strength and the chlorine chlorine does not does have a very very less bond dissociation and the gap of bond is a large number of electrons present in a small volume of chlorine so that shows the chlorine chlorine bond dissociation and the is very very less and the answer that we get fourth one is the answer fourth one it is I bond I chlorine chlorine bond dissociation enthalpy no chlorine chlorine bond dissociation enthalpy is very less. क्या कहते हैं इधर है? Due to the large electrons in the small value, so that one we can also call it as inter-electronic repulsion. तो नो कहेंगे इधर ना कहेंगे इधर ना वो inter-electronic repulsion तो नो कहेंगे इधर. Due to the presence of the inter-electronic repulsion, the chlorine chlorine bond dissociation enthalpy is very very less than ना वो very good. ओके ना? And also the next question. Tenth one, so which is true for regarding nitrogen? And there, which is true for regarding nitrogen? So nitrogen properties, my love, question, get it right? So nitrogen, it is less electron negative. Nitrogen is a less electron negative. No, nitrogen is a having high electron negativity. I have to point out that due to the smallest size, the nitrogen has a high electron negativity, right? So it has no ionization in the P. So no, the nitrogen smallest size is the one that always having. Very high ionization enthalpy. I can tell you that due to the presence of the strong nuclear force of attraction, the nitrogen always have a high ionization enthalpy. Right? So D orbitals are available. So nitrogen only D orbitals are there. No, nitrogen does not have a D orbitals. So next, the ability to form P by P by bonds with itself. So that is the correct statement for the nitrogen. So nitrogen always forms the P by P by bonds. Yeah, the part of P by P by bonds is that is due to the absence of the P orbitals. Due to the absence of P orbitals, it can form only P by P by bonds with the smallest atoms. Or P by bonds with the smallest size of atoms. So the yellow part of part of that. P by P by part of that. Part of that. Yeah, the nitrogen. And the answer is that again. Fourth one is the answer. So this is, this is the proof for the nitrogen. Nitrogen. It is not a. This it has high electronegativity. It has high ionization enthalpy. And also it is 
non-molecular group the dr beta right so those three statements are wrong for the nitrogen only one statement it can only form the p by p by bonds regarding to the nitrogen right so let us one question note okay? so xcf6 the shape of xcf6 and the group xcf6 2014 alli kelidha mundhe 2015 16 alli kelidha shape of xcf6 so this shows sp3 d hybridization yeah hybridization is that sp3 d hybridization is that also it is distortion octahedral structure so the distortion octahedral structure is that structure is that distortion octahedral structure is that yeah the octahedral structure is that right so due to the more number of electrons present in the dr beta dr beta le involvement irodrinda enagutte namage oscillating extra electrons which keeps oscillating to the orbital so orbitals na oscillate madi that also the bond angle is 90 degree or 72 degree 90 degree to 72 degree enagutte bond angle that also the structure of xcf6 that is xc this is xcf6 structure so this this structure we can call it as distortion octahedral structure of the gene you know the gene name distortion octahedral structure so that's so that's why these electrons keep oscillating these fluorine atoms and also that is that one we can call it as distortion you know the gene name distortion what is this structure octahedral structure so that's why xcf6 have in the distortion octahedral structure and also the hybridization is sp3 d3 hybridization and also bond angle is 90 degree or 72 degree bond angle right and also we will move to the next question so next question in about 2017 alli kelidaru okay the extraction of chlorine from brine solution is based upon anta kelidaru so 2017 I'm going to tell you the extraction of chlorine from brine solution is based upon the following. So it is the options. First one, acidification. Acidification. Second one, reduction. Second one, reduction. Third one, oxidation. Oxidation. Fourth one, chlorination. So it is the extraction of chlorine from the brine solution. The reaction is Cl minus plus 2 Cl minus. It will give rise to Cl2 plus 2 electron. This is the reaction for the brine solution. And also this one we can call it as oxidation of the chlorine. So this reaction we can call it as an oxidation because the removal of electrons. So that one we can call it as an oxidation. So here it is the as the yaku the preparation of chlorine from the brine solution. Not in the oxidation process, not for the acidification, not for the reduction, and also not for the chlorination. It is the reaction we can call it as oxidation reaction. Okay, now the answer is there. Third one is the answer. So next for thirteenth one. What is the answer? Thirteenth one. So thirteenth question is going to be there. Select the wrong chemical reaction among the following at the table. Okay, now so it is the first reaction. Select the wrong chemical reaction among the following. So it is the first one. So MnO2 4HCl plus MnCl2 plus Cl2 plus Cl2. Write right down the reactions. MnO2 plus 4HCl, MnCl2 plus Cl2 plus H2O. Right. Second one. Eight N S three plus three C L two plus six gives rise to six N H four C L plus N two. So next two N A O H plus C L two gives rise to two N S C L plus H two plus O two. And also third one, fourth one, two N A O H plus Plus two Cl two, two Cl two, CaO Cl 
twice plus CaCl2 plus 2H2O. Right. So here it is. All the three three reactions are correct except the third one. Yeah, the part third one is the reaction of the gas NaOH plus Cl2 gives H2 NaCl plus H2O2. Instead of they will form simply H2O. Plus NaCl. So this is the reaction they can form. Instead of H2O2, they can form in the H2O. Right. So compared to all these reactions, so this is the wrong reaction. So in the question number 13, tell me. So all the reactions are compared. So this one is wrong. So instead of H2O2 for double gain form, we will form H2O. It will be formed. So that's why. Right. So this is the wrong reaction. Now the third one is the wrong reaction. So next one question, fourteenth question. Fourteen. Question number fourteen. So here you know which of the following elements forms P five P five bonds? Now already noted it. Here the only question number ten only noted it. So nitrogen it is always forms the P five P five bonds. The rest of the elements do not have it. Larger in size. Next up, the elements which are all having larger in size, zero to zero. So they does not form the P pi P pi bonds. So only nitrogen they can form the P pi P pi bonds. Right. Next one. Fifteen. Which one of the following noble gas has unusual property of diffusing through the materials such as rubber, glass, or plastic? So here is the helium. So helium, it is used for the unusual property for the preparing of rubber, glasses, and also plastic. Yeah, the point is that it is very very lightest gas, lightest gas. So that's why it is filled in balloons. Filled in balloons. Lightest gas are the ones that are mainly used for the number. So rubber are the ones that are used for glasses are the ones that are used for the number. Plastic can also be used for the helium. So not used for the helium. So what is the answer? Helium is the answer. So next case, case of which is an eighteen or twenty one. First one. When PbO two reacts with concentrated HNO three, the gas is evaporated. So PbO two it is powerful oxidizing agent. Powerful oxidizing agent. Yes. Powerful oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent and liberate and liberate always O2 when treated with when treated with HNO3 yes O and also yes O2 gas is to be released. That is, in release what we call it O2 gas is released. What is that? We always it is treated with the HNO3 and O2.